So what are all the cards you may ask? Normally, I move cards out of the way, bring a car in, and start working on it. But today, the main cars, they're out on the road because today we got something a little new, something that we haven't seen in quite a while. This key, now it looks like a regular Mazda key, but we're gonna be playing with our $90 car. This car is a sight you guys haven't seen in uh, quite a while. So for a lot of you new guys here, you guys won't know what this car is. This right here, this is my $90 Mazda 3. When was it, December I think it was? Maybe January? Sometime around there. Jason and I, we both split, it was $180 Canadian, so that's like two bucks US. Functioning, running Mazda 3. Now, when we first got it, you guys probably didn't even recognize this car. When we first got this thing, it was a pile of shit. And I'm just straight up honest. It was, there's no oil in it. It was super just, I don't know, it, it was ugly. It had its spare tire on it. You know, all the little things and stuff like that. The interior, half of the carpet was cut out. The back seat was like just completely filled with mold. Since we've gotten this car, I did record a couple videos on like um, when we stripped out the interior and stuff like that. That car has changed. I made that video, that was probably the last video I made with this car, and I think I might have talked about this car a few times, but today we're gonna be doing the finishing touches to this car, to making it pretty much a, a, a full, it's a full safe car at this time. I'm gonna, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna chat about it, I gotta, a couple little things that I gotta do to it that I'm gonna show you guys and then uh, we just gotta chat about this car because like the $90 Mazda 3 is a fully functioning Mazda 3. It's a 2 liter 2007 in black. We call her Squirt. Now the name behind Squirt when we first got this car is uh, I think it was that nozzle right there was missing and then I think one of them or possibly that one shot out sideways I think it was or forward or something like that or way to the back so that's how we got the name Squirt and uh, that just kind of stuck and I mean it's squirt so we we had plans for this car now the plans for this car were we, we had a couple you know suggestions to maybe flip it an easy flip um, but when we went in or when we got in the car it was kind of like Ugh, like this might be difficult to flip just because of the con like the condition it was in and then because it was such a B unit we're like hey why don't we make this an off-road build a few days uh, a couple weeks later or a month later or something like that plans change and unfortunately I can't reveal those plans yet because it's gonna be a surprise and it's gonna be super awesome um, I'm very excited for when that date comes the car won't be staying with us it's going somewhere else like I said it's all part of the plan that we have going on for it. it's gonna be super awesome um, I hope you guys do stick around for that like I said I can't explain what it is but uh, I'm, I'm, it's really exciting for uh, Myself, uh, Jace, and then everyone who's pitched in on this product or project because we've had quite a few uh, people helping out and supporting this. Uh. So, like I said, if you guys saw this car when we first, or made the first videos on it, it might not be recognizable to you. So, the first thing that you would notice on the outside is that the spare tire was on. We've gone ahead, all four tires have a set of Continental. DWS 06s with steelies and the uh, black hubcaps that I used to have on Shaniqua. We put them on here to give it some extra bling. So while now it has full, fully optional 16 inch steelies with very, very good tires on it. So now if we come to the back, you guys might remember that big dent. Jace ended up by pulling that dent. Of course the paint cracked and everything, but it looked better than how far it was pushed. And we didn't think we'd be able to save it, but we ended up being able to, and it turned out nice. Now the big thing about this car was the interior now you guys remember it looked like dump there was mold everywhere it was very unsafe to be inside but now we have cleaned it out and uh, we got a whole brand new carpet for the whole bottom of the car um, the old seats were horrible so we threw them out we replaced them with Shaniqua's old seats because she's got the Mazda suites in there so we put uh, her seats in here which makes it really nice to drive clean up everything I mean even hell there was if you come inside here 
like there was mold in here and there was mold here there was mold on the steering wheel mold around this area like it was just like a mold fest Samer did the uh the good deed and cleaned up most of the interior trim for us uh, a couple little things like that little decoration trim right there came from the speed actually so um it's kind of nice to have some of my the main car's old parts in here to kind of you know give that vibe to this car everything is all clean if you come to the back seats here we replaced the back uh bench with a record part um that fit nicely and then like i said we got new rear mats rear carpet um all these doors were cleaned up we were having issues with uh the back windows and a couple other windows not working so we got a bunch of new motors and everything for them so now all the window switches work one of the big things with this car and why there was so much mold. This window was missing, so when we got the car, we taped it off, um, and then we went to a record, and again, we got a new window, put it in to this door. As you can see, there's still some tape around here that has come off. Um, just so you guys know, this isn't final product. There is, uh, still has to go through its final cleaning. Can't think of anything else on the outside. I think a brake bulb or two was burnt out. Also with the trunk, the trunk had a leak in it as well which now as the trunk sits the trunk is all cleaned put back together the leak is now gone now all i'm searching for is a trunk mat but as that goes so this engine bay still looks disgusting like i said we haven't cleaned anything this whole car probably looks disgusting except the inside um but we did a ton of work to this so we put a new third motor mount in which needs to be replaced because it's not actually oem and vibrates a lot so that needs we still need to deal with that airbox clean uh, MAF sensor throttle body clean cleaned up the battery terminals because those were pretty nasty but the big deal was the suspension so if you guys remembered it was super bouncy now it's super stiff so thank you to one of the local members that provided me with free he literally handed them to me free Mazda speed 3 front struts and springs which I was able to put in and replace the really 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 bouncy front struts so now those are set one of the rear springs were actually broken in half if I might have it as you guys can see here literally broken in half that spring was replaced uh, the both the front lower control arms were replaced same with the end links all four brake pads and rotors were replaced with new ones i think that is mostly it we're still having an o2 sensor code come up so i think we're gonna go to wrecker and which is unfortunate because we're gonna have to go back and uh grab whichever one is uh, making the code but so uh, once we get that o2 sensor done everything that this car had issues with will be complete it is a fully safe reliable mazda 3 once again which is Hella awesome. So you guys might be asking me how much time did I spend and how much money did I spend on this? I think with our split costs uh, added up overall, I think we were just under 500. I'm not sure, I'd have to count this up. We did a lot of work. I'm very, very grateful and thankful for everybody that came and helped with this car. Uh, a couple of buddies like Samer, Warren helped out too, and Jason's been helping out since day one with this car. Very thankful for those guys to get this where this is. So this, it's just awesome on how far this car has come. Like when we were driving at home the first day, it's like, Jesus Christ, I don't think I even wanna like own this car. It's just nasty and it drives like shit. And, but it's at the point where I can hop in it I could go for a boot to, I could go on a road trip. Which is why, where I want to inspire you guys and say, hey, look, you can get cheap stuff from the record yard and fix your car up with OEM parts. Just look for something good, pull it off, put it on your car and boom. So anyways, enough blabbering. Uh, today, what we're gonna be doing to this is very small. Like I said, this was mostly just an update video of where the car is at. I have a bunch of the seat rails because I forgot which ones I needed. So here we have a brake pedal cover because it's missing for some reason on that one. All right, come back here. So those two are good, which means I just needed one, which I know for sure I do have this one. There's one piece done. That is the final. So, I mean, I spent $5 for Absolutely nothing. So like I said, bought this car and it didn't come with one. So these are actually not as easy as you think. So now, now it legitimately feels like Mazda 3. Now the clutch pedal is a little worn 
as normal. It's actually got a pedal. Now, like when I get in this car now, it feels like I'm getting in my own car. So with that being said, that's really all I was doing. I just wanted to make a quick video with the old girl and explain what's going on with her. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. So uh, when we do the O2 sensor, you know, with a couple of uh, other things that we have to do with the car, I might record it, I'm not quite sure. This has been a very interesting project for us, mostly because it was done over the winter. I think she's ready to go to a new home. We're not flipping this, um, but uh, you, you, you you guys will see what's Anyways, I apologize for about the wacky ass video. I just wanted to update you guys. But uh, if you guys uh, want to see more with the other cars and see the finale of this car, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video to show support with our cheap project. Post notifications to see when she goes to a new place. Other than that, guys, keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.